In the previous lecture, we derived the thin lens equation as well as the lateral magnification equation for convex and concave lenses. So we said that the thin lens equation can be used to determine the location and position of our image that is formed of our object by our lens. Now the magnification equation for the lenses allows us to compare the size of the image formed to the actual object. Now the only difficult aspect in using these two equations is knowing when these quantities are positive and when these quantities are negative. So we have the focal length given by f, it's the distance from our center of the mirror to our focal point, di is the image distance, do is the object distance, hi is the image height, and ho is the object height. So in this lesson, Lecture, we're going to discuss the sign conventions for these five quantities and before we begin let's examine the two types of lenses let's begin with the convex lens a convex lens is always thicker at the center and thinner at the edges let's suppose our rays of light are coming in from the left side of the lens when the rays of light hit our convex lens the convex lens will converge those rays of light so a convex lens is also known as a converging lens now a concave lens is always thinner at the middle and thicker at the edges and because of that when the rays of light come in from the left side of our concave lens the rays of light will be diverged so we have a convex or a converging lens and a concave or a diverging lens and let's always assume that the rays of light are coming in from the left side of our lens so let's begin our discussion of the sign conventions by looking at the focal length once again, the focal length given by F is the distance from the center of our lens to the focal point. Now, we define the focal length to be positive for convex or converging lenses and negative for concave or diverging lenses. So this is always true. If we're dealing with a convex lens, our focal length is positive. If we're dealing with a concave lens, our focal length is negative. Now let's move on to the image distance given by DI. The image distance is the distance from the center of our lens to where our image is actually formed. Now the image distance is positive if the image is on the opposite side of where the light is actually coming from. So in this case, since our light is coming from the left side, our image distance will be positive if the image is formed on the right side of our lens. Now equivalently, we say that the image distance di is positive if the image is real. Now a real image is simply an image through which the rays of light are actually going through. So for example, if our image distance is positive, then that basically means for either one of these lenses, our image will be real. Now let's move on to the second part. When is it negative? So we define the image distance di to be negative if the image is on the same side as where the light is coming from or equivalently our image distance is negative if the image is virtual. That is, a virtual image is an image through which the rays of light do not actually go through. For example, this lens is capable of creating a virtual image. Now let's move on to the object distance given by DO. The object distance is simply the horizontal distance from the center of our lens to where our object is actually placed. Now we define the object distance to be positive if the object is on the same side as where the light is coming in and we define it to be negative if the object is on the opposite side 
from where light is coming in. So whenever we're dealing with systems of lenses that consist of only one lens, our object distance will always be positive. But when we're discussing a system of two or more lenses, it's possible for the object distance to be negative. Now let's move on to the image height. So we define the image height to be positive if the image is upright and negative if the image is inverted. And finally, the object height is always defined to be positive. It's never negative. So we always place our object upright.